welcome back to Beauty Beat, where today we are very much kicking it old school with a what's in my bag video. So I am switching out my bag today. Here is the bag that I've been using through fall and winter. I do not know what brand this is. If I can find it in my Amazon history, I will put up the name, but it is a very inexpensive little faux leather bag that I got off of Amazon for like maybe 20 bucks like two years ago. So what drew me to this was very much the color. I prefer a somewhat colorful bag and I thought that this would be a really lovely shade for fall and winter and it definitely has been. It's worked really well with a lot of the outfits that I wear. I like the size of this. It is relatively compact. It's definitely big enough to fit my phone, um, my wallet, some makeup, some just random bits and bobs, and some trash. <laughs> but, you know, it's not overly bulky. I just want to switch to something that's a little bit brighter and a little bit bigger for summer because I tend to just have a little bit more stuff to carry around with me during the warmer months. Start by talking about this older bag. It has this little B on it. I actually painted the rhinestones, which I think made this bag look a lot more expensive. There are three compartments. The first is underneath this flap and has a zipper. So we'll go through that compartment first and it just has my keys so <laughs> nothing too exciting in there in the back compartment I tend to keep my phone I have some paperwork that probably shouldn't be hanging out in my bag I need to move that to its proper spot and then I think the last item nope <laughs> there's a lot more stuff in there actually I have a little bit little notebook that I bring with me. I like to have this for say when I go to the doctor, if I need to take some notes to put my grocery list in. I used to use this as kind of an agenda when I actually went places, but I haven't really needed a small agenda in about two years now. So this has just been hanging out in my bag, largely unused, but I should be going back to work in person, or I guess actually for me to work in person because I've started a new job since the pan pandemic started and maybe I'll need to use that again. And then I also have a little uh, buzzer. This is a little personal safety alarm. It makes a ton of noise, so I'm not going to set it off and a pen because you know you have the notebook you need a pen to go with it so there was pocket number two the third pocket is the largest one here's here's a very unhelpful look at what that looks like so first up i have my wallet i just need a little card holder I got this off of Amazon years and years ago for like $4 and I really like it, but I always kind of am looking at other wallets, maybe that are just a little bit bigger. I really do like the general size of this. I feel like it's very compact. It fits all the cards that it needs to. It can fit cash pretty well. The problem is that coins just do not stick because there's no zipper on this portion and I think that would really help. So yeah, if you have any suggestions of smaller wallets that include a zipper, I would be really appreciative. I have a loyalty card for my local pizza place. It's actually kind of embarrassing how close I am to having a free pizza considering how many punches it takes to get there. I have a little Bath and Body Works uh, pocket back. These were a hot commodity a, uh, a couple of years ago and I bought a bunch actually right before 
uh, there was a rush on the stores for these. I just happened to need to restock, so I bought like seven of these <laughs> at Bath and Body Works, and I'm still working through them because I was rationing them for a little while, which is very, very silly, and I acknowledge that, but hey, it's where we are. I have these sunglasses, which I've been loving. I got these off of Nordstrom Rack last summer. They're from Ted Baker. They were pretty expensive to start with, but I got them on quite good sale. I want to say these were like $45. They're nice quality. They have a nice weight to them. I love this little gold detail. I much prefer a cat eye shape. I really like that these are just a little bit on the smaller end for sunglasses. They still very much cover my eye area, but they aren't super large. They aren't crazy oversized. I am not a small person. I am pretty average build and I'm about five foot seven or five foot eight. So I'm not small, but sunglasses can quite easily overwhelm my face. I'm at a bigger size than I usually am right now. So these aren't particularly loose on me, but these are often just a little bit loose. They can fall down my nose a little bit, but sometimes I have the problem with sunglasses that they'll just fall off. <laughs> I guess my face is a little bit slimmer than the average and these tend to fit me really quite well. And they're cute. I really like these. Should I keep these on for the rest of the video? Probably not, but I might do it anyway. Actually, we should probably take them off so I can actually see what I'm doing. They aren't super dark, but they, they provide a nice level of sun protection. And then the last item in my bag is this mini tart lipstick. This is one of their buttery glide and glow. Is that what it's called? Glide and glow buttery lipstick. Sorry, had my adjectives in the wrong order there. And this is in the shade Berry Cruiser. It is a sheer pinky red. I was wearing this yesterday, which is why it was in my bag. I brought it along to touch up. I like this because it's really soft. It's easy to apply. I don't feel like I need to be as careful with this as I do with a lot of reds. And I've been really liking this type of color recently because my lips are not in good shape. And uh, this color of red seems to work really well at hiding if I have splits in my lip that are showing a little bit of blood. Is that a little bit gross? Maybe a little bit TMI? Absolutely, and I apologize for that, but it's been a consideration lately. So there was my past bag. I definitely see myself switching back to this when fall and winter come around again. I really like the size of this. I like that when I am going into work soon, um, this would fit quite nicely, I think, within my tote bag. I think I could just tick, tuck this in to my full work bag rather than needing to unpack stuff, and I really appreciate that. I have a new bag. I actually just got this in the mail today. This is from Target. It is the, I believe it's the VRNYC brand. It's not one that I've heard of before, but it is a crossbody. It's actually quite a long crossbody. I have it set to the medium full right now to the third of five. And like I said earlier, I'm about five foot eight and this hits me just below my hip. So I think that if you are a larger person, if you're quite tall or a little bit heavier and you sometimes have a hard time finding crossbody bags that work for you, this might be a really good option. This is not particularly pricey. I believe that this was $30, give or take a dollar or two on the Target website, I got mine in the honey mustard color, which is this yellow shade. And I feel like honey mustard was a good descriptor. I like that name for this color. There is this mosaic detail is what they call it. I would say that it's a laser cut design 
on this front pocket, which does have a little magnetic closure to it. And I have not unstuffed this bag, so this is about the size that it will be with items inside. There is one longer pull that I think I might replace or take off this leather piece. I, I don't like this really long pull. I feel like it's just a little bit unwieldy. And I do kind of like to tchotchke up my bags a little bit, like we saw with the nail polish. So this seems like a good candidate. And there are, again, two zipper compartments. So let me unstuff. Okay, so we have two good size zipper compartments. I think that they are pretty similar in size. I think you could, you have some wiggle room about which one you want to be bigger. The first one has two smaller pockets that do not have zippers inside. And there is this, I think it's showing up as navy on screen, but it is a black and white leopard cheetah. I don't know the difference between the two uh, print lining. On the other side, we have one larger pocket that has a zipper. And I just closed it rather than opening it. So there is what that looks like. This is a faux suede. I think this is going to work out really well for me. I. It does smell a little bit, not overwhelmingly, but it just does smell like faux suede straight out of the bag. That's probably to be expected with this kind of bag. And I think that all of my stuff will fit in here really easily. The reason that I wanted a little bit of a bigger bag for spring summer is that I tend to bring along a thing of sunscreen, which would not fit in my smaller bag. And I feel like I just have more things that end up getting stuck in my bag through the course of the day in spring summer when I'm out and about a little bit more than I do in the winter. I think I mentioned with the other bag that I do like a more colorful shade, really just in general with my bags, but especially with my smaller, more everyday bags. I like something that has a little bit of color, a little bit of uh, personality to it. and. This yellow I thought would be perfect for spring and summer because I have two pairs of yellow shoes that I am planning on being pretty much my everyday go-tos. So let me show you those. I haven't actually compared them to the bag yet, so hopefully the colors really work together. So first we have this pair of slip-ons from Incas. I have been loving these. I've been wearing them so often. They have this hot air balloon design on them. And then there are these sunflowers on the toes and then on the back as well. We have more of the sunflower prints. I just think these are lovely. These are my first pair of Incas. Um, I'm really looking to maybe purchase another pair or two. They have so many really cute prints and they're just different than most of what I see on the market and I love them. I like the fact that these look very much like a pair of shoes but they're not symmetric or identical. You know, we've got this larger blue hot air balloon on this shoe, a smaller pink and brown one on this shoe, and Overall, the patterns are, the prints are similar, but they do have their differences. I really like that. Have been wearing those all the time, so. And I've been wearing those all the time, so apologies if they're dirty. It's because I've been using them. And then these shoes I've had for a little while, but have not gotten that much use for me over fall and winter. I've just been appreciating a slip-on a little bit more because I haven't been going a lot of places for a long period of time. A lot of the time when I'm getting ready and putting my shoes on, it's just to like 
walk a block or two to my apartment's office building or something along those lines. But I think that once summer comes along, I'm going to wear these little Ked style sneakers from Universal Thread a lot more often. And right now looking at the color, they don't match, which is actually, I think, a good thing. I don't want it to be too matchy-matchy, but I think that these will go really well with both pairs of shoes. Or I think that this bag will go really well with both pairs of shoes. It's going to be really cute. I'm, I'm excited to use this. I think that it's going to work out really, really well for me. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I know that this is a little bit of a break from my usual beauty content. I always say that I'm intending on doing some more fashion stuff and then it doesn't happen, but you know, let's put that out there again. I'm considering doing some more fashion stuff for the spring and the summer. We'll see. Um, if you would like that, definitely let me know. And I hope that you'll consider liking, subscribing if you enjoyed this video and that I will see you all in my next one. Bye!